We next invite Lori Glimsher, CEO and President, Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, Professor of Medicine, Harvard Medical School, to present the Best Biotech Product Award. Good evening, everybody. I'm Laurie Glimsher, and a member of the pre gelian USA Committee, CEO and President of Dana-Farber Cancer Institute at Harvard Medical School. And on the behalf of the Galian Foundation, I'm very excited to announce the winners of the 2020 pre gallian USA in the biotech category. This year's nominees for the best biotech product are Best Biotechnology Product, Axia Therapeutics and Ionis Pharmaceuticals, Tegseti for treatment of polyneuropathy caused by hereditary transthyretin amyloidosis, HATTR, in adults. Alexion Pharmaceuticals, Ultimiris, for treatment of paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, PNH, that destroys red blood cells in adults. Alnylam Pharmaceuticals, give Lari, for treatment of acute hepatic porphyria, AHP, linked to production of toxic porphyrin molecules in the bloodstream in adults. Alnylam Pharmaceuticals, on Patro, for treatment of polyneuropathy caused by HATTR amyloidosis, leading to loss of nerve and organ function. Amgen, Amovig, CGRP receptor blocker to treat chronic migraine. Amgen, Ivenity, treatment for osteoporosis in postmenopausal women at high risk of bone fracture. Amicus Therapeutics, Galifold, oral drug for treatment of Fabry disease through repair of gene-induced enzyme deficiencies that lead to organ failures, stroke, and early death in adults. Biomarin Pharmaceutical, Pollenzy, lowers blood levels of phenylalanine, an amino acid that causes PKU, phenylketonuria leading to brain damage and seizures beginning in infancy. Daiichi Sankyo Pharmaceuticals and HER2, treatment of unresectable or metastatic HER2 positive breast cancer. Dompe Pharmaceuticals, Oxervate, Recombinant human growth factor to treat neurotrophic keratitis, a rare condition affecting the eye cornea. Eli Lilly, Emgality, once a month CGRP antibody preventive treatment for adult migraine. Roche Genentech, Hemlibra, treatment to reduce or prevent bleeding episodes in adults and children with hemophilia A with or without factor VIII inhibitors. Roche Genentech, Palivy, antibody drug conjugate for treatment of diffuse large B cell lymphoma. Global Blood Therapeutics, Oxbrita, prevents inherited propensity for the hemoglobin polymerization that causes sickle cell disease. Janssen Pharmaceuticals, Tremphia, Treatment for medium to severe plaque psoriasis in adults. Medicine 360, Liletta, an IUD to prevent pregnancy through timed release of hormone levonorgestrel. Merck and Company, Irvibo, first preventive vaccine against the disease caused by the Zaire Ebola virus in adults. Novartis Gene Therapies, Zolgensma, one-time gene replacement therapy for children under age two with spinal muscular atrophy. Novo Nordisk AS, Ribelsis, GLP-1 agonist treatment to control blood sugar in adults with type two diabetes. Pfizer Incorporated, Vindaquil, for cardiomyopathy associated with transthyretin-mediated amyloidosis, ATTRCM, to reduce cardiovascular mortality and related hospitalizations. Portola Pharmaceuticals, Andexa, 
Reversal of medicine-specific anticoagulant-based and life-threatening bleeding events. Regeneron Pharmaceuticals. Dupixent. Single-dose pre-filled pen technology to treat adults and adolescents with atopic dermatitis, eczema, asthma, and rhinosinusitis with nasal polyposis. Sanofi. Cablevi. Nanodrug to treat adult-acquired thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura, ATTP, a rare blood disorder. Takeda Pharmaceuticals. Taxiro. Treatment for hereditary angioedema, HAE in adults. Before I have the pleasure of revealing this year's Biotech Award winner, I'd like to ask Anne Morgan Cathcart, who's a medical student at Harvard Medical School, to briefly share what inspired her to pursue a career in medicine or research. Good evening, everyone. My name is Anne Cathcart, and I'm a formal year student in the Harvard MIT and PhD program. It's an honor and a privilege to be here tonight. My dad was an engineer. He summited some of the tallest peaks in the world from Akinagawa to Denali. I have to believe growing up in Texas had something to do with his motivation to climb. Mountains were certainly open compared to the flatlands in his grave. But also, growing up in Texas, when he was around to hear JFK's moon speech at Rice Stadium, where he said, We choose everything, not because they are easy, but because they are hard because that goal will serve to organize and measure the work of energies and skills, because that challenge is one which we are willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one which we intend to win. When I left home for college, my dad encouraged me to do something hard. Developing new treatments for the scourge of human cancers certainly seemed nearly impossibly hard, yet, I soon found the guides who were cutting the steps up the mountain ahead of me were brilliant, passionate, and filled with hope. My dad was diagnosed with an aggressive cancer and passed away before he could see me graduate from medical school. I know he would be so proud of the work I started and which you all are leading the way every day. As JFK said, I feel deeply that this is work I am unwilling to postpone and determined to win. And I know you feel the same way. Thank you for doing hard things, for inspiring students like myself in the service of patients like my dad. It is an honor to follow in your footsteps. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Anne. The history of medicine is the story of patients, but it's also the story of technological and conceptual advances and how we think about disease and how we're able to treat it. And when those advances occur, when suddenly we're able to imagine an approach we never thought about before, it's as though science had opened a new window through which we could view a new part of the world. In other words, nothing makes medicine progress faster than when our sense of what is possible is enlarged. What makes tonight's Biotech Award particularly appropriate is that it highlights three recipients who have done exactly that. They've brought us exciting new possibilities for how to treat a terrible disease. And now I have the pleasure of announcing our first winner. The first winner of the pre gallian USA Best Biotech Award is Axia Therapeutics and Ionis Pharmaceuticals with Tegsetti. Thank you to the Pregallion for this incredible honor. I'm truly thrilled to accept this award on behalf of the entire Ionis and Exia team. Texeti is the world's first approved RNA targeting therapeutic, which powerfully reduces the production of TTR protein, the cause of TTR amyloidosis, as a once weekly subcutaneous injection to treat adults living with polyneuropathy caused by hereditary ATTR amyloidosis. Texeti has given hope to so many families who for generations have suffered greatly from this rare disease because of the lack of effective treatment options. We know that HATTR amyloidosis symptoms are overlooked and underdiagnosed far too often, which is why Ionis and Exia not only prioritize treatment, 
but also support diagnosis of this disease through various means, including genetic testing. Through these efforts and the benefits offered with tick study treatment, we've been able to address the unmet needs of HATTR amyloidosis patients and their families. I'd like to thank everyone at both Ionis and Exia for their hard work and dedication. I'd also like to recognize the patients, the caregivers, and physicians who've been strong advocates for the hereditary ATTR amyloidosis community. On behalf of our whole team, thank you for this award. Thank you and congratulations. What the winner just described was an approach to reduce transthyretin amyloidosis through silencing the gene. And while turning off the gene that codes for it would seem to be an obvious approach for diseases like this, but what seemed obvious conceptually turned out to be devil devilishly hard in practice. The discovery over the past decades of ways of silencing gene expression with antisense oligonucleotides, which bind to the transthyretin messenger RNA and cause its degradation. And that's what you've just heard about from the first winner. The second winner used a somewhat different approach to silence the gene, and that is a technology called RNA inhibition. So moving on to our second winner who used a different silencing strategy, let me open the envelope. And the winner is Alnylam Pharmaceuticals or Onpatro. Good evening. It's a privilege to accept this award on behalf of El Nilum, and we are grateful to the Gallien Foundation for this incredible honor and for recognizing the impact of Ampatro. As I think about the magnitude of this achievement, many people come to mind who have had the privilege to work with for the better part of two decades to make RNAi therapeutics a reality. This award is for all of you and the countless individuals who work day and night to bring this treatment and a whole new class of medicines to fruition. From the scientists who discovered RNAi to the pioneers who paved the way in transforming science into medicine, to those who believe the potential of RNAi even when many lost hope. Thank you for your commitment. Most importantly, this award is for the patients living with hereditary ATTR amyloidosis who have polyneuropathy. These are the patients who had the courage to participate in our clinical trials. They, along with their caregivers, doctors, nurses, and advocates, are the real heroes among us. And the approval of Onpatro is a direct result of their determination to share their experiences in an effort to help others like them. We know, that the, to we know the toll that HATTR amyloidosis takes on the lives of patients and their families who faces rapidly progressive and life-threatening disease. And it's their spirit and their bravery that motivate our work every day. The approval of Onpatro opened the doors for RNAi to become a powerful new way of treating human disease. And today, we have additional RNAi therapeutics that have reached the market and others that are on their way to the market to treat rare diseases, but also more prevalent conditions as well. The future of RNAi is bright, and we are excited for what lies ahead. As I think back on how far we've come, I'm extremely grateful to everyone on this journey who said a resounding challenge accepted every step of the way to make RNAi therapeutics a reality today. You have continued to set an example of what it takes for scientific breakthroughs to become medical innovations for humankind. Thank you very much. Thank you and congratulations. You've heard about two approaches to reducing the expression of the transthyretin molecule. Another approach is stabilizing the native fold of the protein rather than reducing its overall expression. And it is that strategy that we turn to as we consider the awarding of the prize to the third recipient. So last but not least, the, number, the third winner of the Pre-Gallien USA Best Biotech Award is 
Pfizer and Company for Vinda Quell. On behalf of the team at Pfizer, thank you to the Gallian Foundation and to the Brie Gallian Awards Committee for this very special honor. This award is a reflection of the innovation that led to Vindicale and Vindamax, the first and only medicines that approved for the treatment of wild type as well as hereditary transthyretin amyloid cardiomyopathy or ATTRCM for short. ATTRCM is a rare life-threatening disease that's characterized by the buildup of abnormal deposits of misfolded protein called amyloid in the heart. This buildup causes the heart muscle to stiffen over time, uh, eventually leading to heart failure. Vindical and Vindamax are the product of targeted drug development designed to simulate the effect of a protective gene variant that stabilize the transthyretin protein and first limited further formation and buildup of amyloid. Outcomes for patients with this neglected disease were bleak. Previously, there were no approved treatments uh, for ATTRCM, and survival was on average two to three and a half years uh, after diagnosis. We saw this significant unmet need that existed for these patients uh, and made the decision to pursue a new therapeutic for these patients translating the very promising research that was conducted by the Scripps research team at San Diego uh, to the clinic. Our efforts are now having a positive impact for patients with ATTRCM, with Vindical and Vindamax, patients whose only prior options included symptom management, and in rare cases, organ transplant, now have a breakthrough therapy that allow patients to live significantly longer, spend less time in a hospital setting, and more importantly, more time with their loved ones. In the pivotal trial, Vindical significantly reduced all-cause mortality and cardiovascular hospitalizations and slowed the decline in patients' functional capacity as well as quality of life. Pfizer has been committed to making a difference for patients with transthyretin amyloid doses for nearly a decade through R&D, education, and awareness efforts and we look forward to continuing this work to improve outcomes for patients. We're very proud to be recognized for such a respected award and our ability to bring this innovative treatment to market is a testament to our entire rare disease team at Pfizer, the groundbreaking researchers and investigators who partnered with us, and most importantly, the patients who participated in our clinical trial program. Thank you very much. Thank you and congratulations. Perhaps the most exciting thing about this drug is that it has shown utility of the chaperone approach for a host of other diseases such as neurodementias that are caused by protein misfolding and aggregation. So in a very real sense, the companies we've honored today are pioneers, advancing not just the treatment of the specific disease, but the ways we may attack numerous other disorders. Thomas Friedman wrote that big breakthroughs happen when what is suddenly possible meets what is desperately needed. And it's been my honor and pleasure to introduce the winners of the Biotech Award who have given us new possibilities and have given patients in desperate need a new hope. So please join me once again in congratulating our three distinguished biotech winners.